Mm. You know, before I get started with this video, I, I was remiss. I would be remiss if I didn't mention it. Um, uh, a few things and a few, um, I guess, a few passing of our um, loved ones. Uh, Zinzi, Mandela's a daughter, died a couple nights, a couple days ago, and um, so far they don't, they haven't released a cause of death. She's the baby daughter. Um, and so my my heart and my prayers go out to the family. Also, the, the Glee star, Nia Rivera. Wow, that to me, uh, that was such a sad story for her um, and her baby son to go out and have a day on the water and for her not to return. And he's going to remember that for the rest of his life. And so um, I know that he's traumatized by that incident. So I hope that the family does whatever they can do to um, keep his little light shining and don't let it dim because he is in, um, he's, he, he's going to have all kinds of things happen as he grows up and remember his mom. Trust me, I've been there and I know. I know. So with that being said, my condolences go out to each and every one of uh, the families. The Mandela's, but Zinzi, and um, wow, to the Navera family for their loss. But the main reason I'm on here, y'all, is because I really wanted to make a comment about the Red Table Talk with Will and Jada. And I might have a different spin than a lot of people, of course, because uh, I'm a little older and uh, a lot older. And <laughs> I passed a whole bunch of stuff. But what I found about that was I want to come at it from a different angle. And that's an angle of no judgment, no shade. And that's at the forefront. How many people, think about your own relationship. How many people can have that sensitive kind of conversation with their significant other, with their mother, their father? Um, even if, I mean, if, even if we're not talking about cheating, but something personal, something that bothers you, something that hurts you. Let's be honest about it. How many of examples in the black community that we have with people communicating, being vulnerable, showing their emotions to each other, let alone to a million Americans that got all their opinions about their relationship Really, which ain't really none of our business, you know, and I could just joke about it, but really none of our business. So I'm not coming up here to judge anybody. Uh, did you know, I mean, if did, did, did Jada use great judgment and all that, you know, all that, maybe not, okay, but you know. Who's all who's made the best choices, made the best choices, every choice they made? I haven't. So, I, you know, my whole thing is, I have grown up, and in most people I know in the black community, you can't even tell your mother, your father, your significant other that you don't like something without them either starting to fight with you, trying to hit you in the head with a pot, starting a big argument, because most of it is really, really extremely dysfunctional. And we don't even have no areas to communicate like that, period. I don't even care if the, com if the, if the camera is on. If the camera is on, it's going to look like the Jerry Springer episode. So it doesn't matter. And I think it's really important, and that's one thing that therapy does. It helps us be able to talk about our feelings and try to communicate. The thing about it is, once we get in 
falls deeply in therapy, you start realizing your circle start getting smaller in terms of people. Because black, some of us don't want to talk about stuff. And if you go back two or three generations, they couldn't talk about it. It was way too painful. See, because I don't know about some of y'all. I'm not on my mother's, on my grand, my grandmother's, on my maternal, my maternal grandmother. Her grandmother was a slave. So I don't know a lot of y'all that that's how close I am to slavery. So a lot of y'all look at slavery like a long, 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 long time ago. I don't look at it like that. I look at it like four grandmamas ago, my four grandmom was a damn slave. A lot of y'all start having babies uh young now. So now y'all got y'all grandmama, y'all, y'all mama, y'all grandmama, and y'all great grandma right there and y'all uh, alive with y'all. Some of y'all might have your uh, uh um Three gram or four, the fourth one. Because a lot of us are having uh, babies young now. We're real, real, real young, and I'm saying that we know and that are together, we see. But back in slavery, it was like, a, and so if I'm telling you I'm only four generations removed, then y'all already know. I'm like, whoa, that's not like really a long time ago. So a lot of those people didn't want to talk about what happened. Okay? So when you move down to my generation, that's. It's like before Oprah. <laughs> really, pre-Oprah days. Nowadays, we still can't talk, and we haven't talked. We haven't had a real strong communication with our children without judging them and putting them in positions where they have to really, really offend for themselves. No judgment, no shade. Putting them in harm's way where they're suffering abuse. Of all kinds, whether it's verbal, mental, emotional, or sexual. So you tell me how many people you know can sit down like Jay and Will and even have a conversation about the mistakes and about the things and how they grow and how as a couple they're committed to staying together no matter what. I tell y'all about my parents right now. My father and my mother. I'm blessed to have them both still alive. Um, and they're not together, but they were married 36 years. A lot of people, and I'm not saying that to say, oh, oh that's just the best thing because you can be married and not even communicate with one another. What I'm trying to say is Jada and Will are on their 25th and they're committed to talking still to each other. They got grown uh, uh, adult children. But they're still committed to what they have. I have to respect that. Me personally. That's my opinion. And nobody has to agree with me. And I want to know how many of y'all got people in y'all family. That y'all can have those kind of conversations with. Without it turning into a fight. A real fight. And I'm not saying that they didn't fight. Because they said that they, he said, I was done with you. But it never got physical, I bet. I don't think it went there. It might have. But I doubt it. Sometimes the more you try to evolve yourself and you know right from wrong, you might have moments, you know. But at the end of the day, you don't react so fast that you would as you would if you've had no kind of um, therapy or no kind of communication exercises in your life and in your relationship. So, my opinion about Will and Jada's Red Table Talk is I thought it was a great exercise in two people wanting and committing to stay together because breaking up is hard to do. Hard. It's so hard. It is. Trust me. It is. Because once you exchange blood and exchange body parts and change fluids and endorphins and all that kind of stuff, don't let anybody fool you. All that shit is a science and it's real. And you can get hooked on that just like some black tar heroin. And it's hard to 
break loose. So, if you can stay together and work through whatever you're going through, that's a wonderful thing. And to be able to talk about it, no matter what, you know, and be able to talk about it and remain friends at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So that's just my opinion. I had to weigh in on that because it's very important to me. Because I think they're a good example of um of communication about this whole thing that the world is talking about. So, all right, I'm gonna go. If you like what you hear, oh oh, I don't know. I want to say, um, uh, no, nah, let me go ahead. I'll see you in the next video.